What is going on YouTube? How are you guys doing today? Properly Apathy back in the building with another video. Today is going to be more of a serious video. It's going to be talking about the drive to win, the competitive drive just in general. And this is going to be my second time actually doing this video. I just finished it and I felt like I ranted too much on too many things and I felt like it, the video is all over the place. So I'm going to try to keep my, my thoughts as close and simple as possible for you guys to understand. But it just it's going to be a really much like a big rant video and the reason i'm doing this video is because i felt like i've been holding this stuff for too long i felt like i need to open my mouth i need to say something because it's it's just it's in a way it's sickening man it's sickening look at this dude this is the type of shit you do when you grind and he was he's not a grinder and i get shotgunned but we won't talk about shotgun today guys we won't talk about shotgun at all so how do i begin this because i felt like i said a lot in the past one but to begin this video, first of all, I want to say, uh, I feel like a lot of people, I don't want to say a lot, but there is a percentage of gamers and professional players that don't have the drive to win as bad as other people do. Like, their drive to win, it's just like, eh, if we win, it's whatever, I'm just doing this for fun. And there's people who love Call of Duty, who, who, fuck me, who love competitive Call of Duty, who want to grind, who want to succeed, who put in the time... And like no other, when they lose, they get mad. They hate it. They don't say, ah, oh, it's okay. We'll get them next time. They fucking are pissed because they love the sport. Well, it's not an actual sport. But you guys get my point. They love competitive Call of Duty. And that's the way I am. A lot of you guys know how, you know, how much I love Call of Duty. How much I love to win. How bad I want to win. And, you know, my drive for just for success in general. Like, I want it bad. And there's just players out there I feel like don't have the, their priorities straight. They they don't care as much. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to put anyone on blast throughout this whole video. So I'm just gonna talk just in general. But you know I get disgusted when like a good example is like when we asked for a team scrim, right? Especially like a week or two ago, we asked for a team scrim. Like, hey, anybody want to scrim? It's always the same two to three teams scrimming. Hey, what do you know? And guess what? Those teams. They're, they're, uh, they aren't always doing the best, the teams that are scrimming. But, for the most part, those teams are the w ones that are doing the, the best, for the most part, right? It's always the same fucking teams, and it's disgusting. Like, where are the other teams? Like, what are you guys doing that's so important? Like, you have a job to do. Like, and it, all it takes is one player, one person to fuck up the whole team scrim. Because if one of your teammates can get on, well, your team, guess you what? Your team's not scrimming. And sometimes, you know, it's okay once in a while, you know, you got to do something very important, blah, blah, blah. But, it's just, it's disgusting, man. Like, do teams not understand they're fucking, they're, they're, li they're like, they're sucking? You know, what are they fighting for? Second place? You just want Optic to win everything? Like, where's the fucking drive? Where's the competitive drive? Like, it's, it's literally, like, it's... Like, I, it dis, it's disturbing, dude. I don't even know what to call it. It's fucking disturbing. That teams, it's always the same to Optic. Optic, obviously, take a break. Take, they take breaks once in a while. That's obviously, wow, that guy just fell off the map. But, it's always, like, the same people, man. Optic are one of those always the same teams. They're always grinding for the most part. I'm not saying they're, they don't take breaks at all because they do. But they're a team that grind a lot. It's, it's C9 Eclipse, Dido's team, who aren't even in the league, grind a lot. It's just like the same repetitive teams over and over again. As for scribs, there's a whole bunch of teams missing every time. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Do you not care? And then, and then, the, and then the worst part of it all is that, you know, you, 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 you're in the eighth chat, right? You're in eighth car. You're in the call with the, with the teammates that are not scribbing and, they're like, and you figure out why they're not screaming. Oh, my teammate's still sleeping. What for? It's 7 o'clock at night. Like, where the hell is your priorities? Like, do you not care? Like, at that point, you simply like, like, I hate sometimes when John, like, John obviously stays up. Like, I respect that he grinds a lot. That's fine. Like, I respect that. You know, that's why you're good. That's what's going to make you a really good player. But... At some point, like, you got to have your responsibilities and your priorities straight. you got to make sure that, hey, I've been playing all day. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Like, i got to go to sleep. i got to get at least 5, 6 hours of rest so we can team scrim and we can get better as a team. 
and not be like, you know, I don't give a shit about the team. I'm, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Wake up whatever time I want. Like it's just, it this like, it's just disgusting. Like I, like I, I really, there's teammates, you know, going on vacation. Like I'm not even gonna talk about JCap because JCap took like a family vacation for a couple of days, and I kind of, it's kind of understandable. I think it was meant for right after Anaheim. Unfortunately, it was like the middle between season two. Uh, finals and Anaheim, and it was meant like, and I understand it's like a family vacation. Like, I don't know, that's kind of that's kind of hard to turn down. You can't just tell your family no, you know, especially after they planned it for a while. But there's people like it's different if it's like just a randomly, you know, just you know what? I'm off the scene, guys. Uh, I'll be back in like three days. Gonna take a vacation, or there's people just oversleeping not waking up for practice or people just doing whatever they want some days like i hate like literally listening to the eights call or eights chat and hearing these people say these type of things like it's it's disgusting there's players i don't know man it's it's crazy it's literally crazy out here and you know what i'm not perfect because i obviously have taken days off before but i try to keep my priorities straight if, if it's something very important well, then I probably can't miss that, and I really have to go to that, and I try my best to work with it. I've missed a lot of things. I, you know, I barely go out with my fiance who lives with me. I, I, I've been rarely going to the gym. I go to the gym maybe three, four times a week. I used to go every single day. Uh, you know, I try to do a YouTube video every day, and even then, I miss some days. Like I've been really trying to keep my priority straight and focus on winning. That guy's got a four piece. Like, that's what I want the most. Like, I want to win. I want to be better. You know, I think I have what it takes. I know I have what it takes. But I, if I don't put in the time to practice with my team, we're not going to go anywhere. And you know what? Uh, this this is, like, what is more unacceptable. And this is this is coming from my side. But, like, just think about it from any other players or other players cycling right now. Like, a lot of you guys know I was on Team Liquid. Had some decent success. Placed third size fourth at South Carolina. You know, things are going pretty well. And then we ended up uh, getting reverse swept at season two relegations, which we could have easily qualified up 3 0, and then it just came back on us. And that shit was heartbreaking. It sucks that it happened, but it happened. And a lot of people, and you know, Joey D, aka Merck, told me, you know, you're gonna be fine, the team's gonna wanna pick you up. And I actually ended up getting a couple of league offers, which was, felt pretty good, felt, felt good, you know, being wanted, you know, especially not being in the league to begin with. And I felt like, you know what, I have a good opportunity here. So at the end of the day, I uh, ended up joining with Envy. You know, they were probably the team I wanted to join the most. So I'm like, oh, you know what, let's do this, baby. I'm joining you guys. When I was very close to joining Complexity, uh, but, you know, I turned my head and said, you know what, Envy, Envy want me, let's do it, baby. And I would, a lot of you guys know, on Team Liquid, I was averaging about 10 to 12 hours a day of Call of Duty. 10 to 12 hours, that's a fucking lot of Call of Duty. A lot. Now, once, once I first joined Envy, averaging about 10, 8 to 10 hours a day. A little bit less, but you know what, still, still playing a decent amount. Then, then, a week or two later into the game, into Season 2, you know, with Envy, I started slacking. I don't know what came into me. I don't know if I was just tired grinding COD. I don't know if my motivation died out. I don't know what happened because obviously it was a while ago. But, <coughs> excuse me. I literally started averaging six hours a day. I cut my practice time almost into half. I was disgusted with myself. A lot of you guys know that I started playing bad. SD was very, very inconsistent. And the reason why my SD was pretty good on Liquid is because I was grinding wagers and tournaments. But SD was very inconsistent. Respawn was still good for the most part, but made a couple mistakes here and there. And even then, there was some inconsistency. And that all happened because I stopped playing as much and I stopped grinding. And I was on a league team. I joined a league team. And I was playing less. What? That's At that point, you know that you're doing something wrong. Like, my drive to win, like, I was literally disgusted with myself. And right now, I've been grinding about average 10 hours a day of Call of Duty. The past two weeks, I've played almost 12 hours a day of Call of Duty. Uh, just the past, like, two days or so, I've been a little bit more lenient, a little bit less hours. But, you know, 
I was disgusted with myself that I grinded more being out of the league than in the league. You know, it made no sense. And it just shows that, you know, I, I realized that I'm making a mistake. I realized that I had to admit my faults and admit that I was slacking. And I, I, you know, I was like, I realized it. Started putting in more time. A lot of you guys noticed that I've been playing a lot better. You guys noticed that I've been dropping uh, bombs in respawn. My SD has been very consistent for the most part. And it's been showing because hard work will equal results. You know, whether it's a day, you may not see the results in a day or two. You may not see res see the results in a, in a week or in a month. Maybe even you might just see a little bit of results, but eventually you will see them as long as you keep putting the time and keep trying to fix your mistakes. And that's what I did. Either way, guys, sorry for this little rant video. I had to do it because it's just I'm disgusted with myself at times. The fact that I don't put in enough time and I know I should. I'm disgusted with players that that are slacking and like they're an elite team and they're like fucking over their team. And not putting in time, not practicing. They have, let's say, a league match to qualify, and instead they're not they're not getting on for practice a day before, like stuff like that. It's it's really irritating seeing these teams do that. But in the end of the day, you know what? That's dumb. They can do whatever they want. You know, I'm just gonna make sure my team sticks on schedule, sticks together, and make sure we keep grinding, and make sure all this hard work pays off. But this has been your boy Afti. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, we just got to all stay motivated and have the drive to win at the end of the day. That's all that matters. And I'm out. Peace.